Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Discovery Sport. Then I'll take you for riding it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Discovery Sport 2 litre TD4 HSE Black Automatic. 2017 on the 67 plate. Has done 43,373 miles. Fuel economy, urban 44.8 miles per gallon. Extra urban 60.1 miles per gallon. And combined is 53.3 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 8.4 seconds, a top speed of 117 miles per hour, out of a four cylinder 179 brake horsepower 16 valve engine. So it has keyless entry, keyless go. Um, get out of the car, keys on you, press a little button, put your thumb on it, car will lock, path holding door mirrors, come back to the car again as long as you've got the key on you, put your hand behind the handle. And, and that's it, car will open up. Uh, it has a black pack, black roof. It's got the plastic wheel arch protectors. The, again, the, the black trim here, the black grille, black uh, piano, black wheels, multi-spoke. Be careful where I stand here. Has the 360 all-round cameras, there's the front one. Uh, two more in the door mirrors you can pull the view up as you're going out between two parked cars going onto a main road which you often the situation you often find yourself in so that's uh, quite handy the black badges a real real nice car good color combination it's ulong white i think it is with, with black and it's a pearlescent white so it's really really shining when the sun's out unfortunately it's a bit cloudy today and and dull black door mirrors Rear privacy glass, black window surrounds, panoramic glass roof, integrated rear tailgate spoiler. It has the power open, power close tailgate, reversing camera in the back there. We have uh, the rear load cover. If I flick this switch at the side, there's two switches, if I flick that, Back seat pops down, and uh, I know what you're thinking. Baz, that tow bar's hideous, <laughs> and it spoils the whole car. Well, fear not. Watch this. There you go, all gone. So, path holding tailgate, reversing sensors there, as I say, reverse camera just underneath there. So it's not the best folding seats I've ever seen. However, a bit of weight on there, that'll keep it down and, and you can load through from the back. When you put it back up, there's a couple of positions for the, for the backrest here. Now, if I just pull this little lever here, I can just recline this a little bit as well. I'll get in. My feet are filthy, so I've been very careful to get on the mats. It has the um, carpet mats in, uh, fitted carpet mats. The nice perforated leather seats, nice and comfortable, plenty of headroom. Um, the glass panoramic roof here, we've got Rear centre armrest, two cup holders, and a little place to, I don't know what you'd put because there's no carpet or anything in there. So whatever's in there will be sliding around every every time you break. That, that would be really annoying and a bit of a silly idea. Ice fixed rear child seat anchor points. It has the Meridian sound system, so the, the speakers, and if you like music, it, it's fantastic to be in. Um, the the front seats the, the back sculpted out so that you've got more leg room and it, it's it, to be fair it's really nice nice high back seats um i do like this car i really really do airbags in the a pillar the b pillar c pillar d pillar um it's uh, it's a nice safe car to be in okay i'll just uh, take you for a ride I can't remember the last time it didn't rain up here, so we're, you're honoured today. Because we're, we're in a car that's actually brilliant 
in inclement weather. All the other times I've been in saloon cars and it's been icy, throwing it down, foggy, horrible. Now we're in the ideal car and, and it's nice. So that's the Range Rover keys. We have two of them there. I'll just tuck them away somewhere. It's keyless ignition, foot on the brake. Just press the switch there. Let's see, we've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel there. And it's electric seats too. Good feature, well, <laughs> it may be a good feature if you, if you need it, it may not be, but You've got a reversing camera there, but you've also got 360 camera system there. And if I just press that, you'll see there you've got, that's quite handy coming out between two parked cars, as I as said before, coming out from a side street or, or whatever. Um, but you've also got the 360s. Let's see, where's the 360s? There you go. So that shows you all round. And if I start moving there, you'll see and then if I just go like that you will see I've done my daily duty today picked all the McDonald's packets and cups and stuff up put them in the bin see there that's the reversing camera and you'll also see there that um, the people that we're saving the planet for have set fire to the bin and uh, no doubt cause more pollution burning that plastic than 20 Range Rovers so, there you go so it's a Land Rover I'm in the happy place <laughs> best car in the world in my opinion you may think differently but you'd be wrong they are just tremendous and to be honest, I've been using a, I used a two litre Discovery recently. We sold my Range Rover and believe it or not, been looking for another one, but can't find one that I want, a, a nice enough one for us to then go on to sell. And uh, so, so we had two Discoveries in. So I, I taxed the silver two litre, which was brilliant. And uh, I loved it. but between Christmas and New Year, as luck would have it, somebody else loved it too and wanted to buy it. So we then had a black three litre and I was really, really impressed with the two litre, bearing in mind that the proper Discovery is quite a lot bigger than this one, the Discovery Sport and uh, a lot heavier, seven seater. And uh, the two litre was, was brilliant, it was fine. And I certainly noticed it in my pocket did a lot more miles to the gallon and then of course I started using a three litre Discovery somebody else took a fancy to that as soon as I started using it and uh, and came and bought it so I started using this and, and again it's to be fair this is this is more than I need the two litre engine is really really good it's powerful enough and it's very economical and uh, I've really noticed my, and it's doing, <laughs> it's, it's doing wonders for my diet as well because I'm not going to the fuel station every couple of days and I'm not queuing up next to all the chocolate bars and the crisps and stuff. So um, if you buy a two litre Range Rover or Land Rover, um, I can promise you that you will lose weight as well <laughs> as a byproduct. But it's, apart from just feeling a little more bouncy than the than the bigger one it drives fantastic it's automatic it's got the rotary control which i like we've got paddle shift here if i want to go into sport i don't know why i'd want to go into sport i can't think of a reason why i'd want to put this in sport but if you do then it, it's there you've got paddle shift on the steering wheel here so on the left change down and on the right change up quite bright today actually so I, I, I might have a chance to put my sunglasses on got a front center armrest here with in there there's two USBs I think might be a HDMI socket as well 
nothing coming. 12 volt power socket. There's another socket as well there. It looks like an iPod socket. It's got Bluetooth hands free. I'm just going to put my shades on. It's it, The sun rises over there and when it comes over the mountains or the hills or whatever you want to call them, it gets quite bright. Just going down the hill here. That's hill descent there. Put it on hill descent and then we go down there and I should be able to, and somebody else told me about that, Not yes there you go. So you put it on hill descent, we're going down the hill, but with the cruise control buttons you can actually speed up your descent if you want to go faster or slow it down. Don't really know, you need to go down there slowly. back in drive it's just in manual at the moment because I was messing around with the paddle shifts nice well this this has been valeted and uh, I've been using a Mercedes C-Class which is a beautiful car <laughs> but your perspective on the road when it's raining and you're in the spray and getting in and out of it <laughs> I felt like <laughs> John <laughs> John and myself went to uh, pick a car up yesterday and John's in the Merc in the passenger seat and I'm driving and we, we pulled up to pick the car up and John's trying to get out and I'm trying to get out and I, and I said to him like, you know if me and you continue to go and pick cars up, we're going to have to get another Range Rover. Meridian speakers, great speakers. It, it's, I, I like music and uh, being in the car with your music on, it uh, it's, sounds better than when you're, when you're at home. The motor manufacturers spent millions and millions of pounds trying to soundproof cars and do all sorts of things these days of noise cancelling, special windscreens. It's like we've got a fire down there. Um, so look, if you like music, it, it's brilliant. You've got Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming, the sat-nav, which I will just show you when we get around this corner. Perhaps get around this other corner too. We've got heated seats which I've got on at the moment and it's new clearance, it's uh, not let down to one. So sat nav, that's the home button there. You've got media, your climate controls there. That shows you where your air is going. I've got it knocked off at the moment because I don't want my cameras to overheat. But navigation. It's the first time I've switched it on, so I have to press that I'm not going to get distracted. So that's the sat nav, and it's a nice, easy system. Everything about Range Rover and Land Rover at this moment, certainly on this model, this year, easy to use. The Bluetooth hands free, pairing's dead easy, deleting's dead easy, using the sat nav's dead easy. I was in an Audi the other day. And I'm not kidding, um, I think that any switches in a car or any controls in a car should be tested on a motorbike first. And if you can't use them on a motorbike, they shouldn't be in a car. So all these touch screens and, and touch pads and, and all this rubbish and, and fans that you, you have to press a button then look at a screen, shouldn't be in a car. You should be able to operate everything with gloves on. And uh, this is probably rotary switches, switches for the 
heated seats, the nice gear selector. It's, it's just nice, nice and easy to use. Proper switches on the um, multifunction steering wheel, no, no touch pads that you, you're trying to do something, then you go over a bump and you, you knock it like five stations back from the one you want or, you know, or cut somebody off. It's just nice. Nice driving position. On the right hand side here, cruise control. Again, the cruise control is dead easy to use. You just click that button and it's on, it's set. Now switching it on and then clicking minus to set it and plus to get to your speed on. You're at your speed, click on. You've also got speed limiter there, the cancel, resume, the left hand side, that's your audio controls, your telephone, voice activation, and we've got mode here. You'll see there, let's change to Bluetooth audio. In the end of the indicator, which is on the left, that's showing me how I'm driving. And I, and I can just, you know, I can just scroll through the things. Wipers on the right, indicators on the left. In the centre there, you've got menu. Click on menu, and then we can scroll through vehicle info, vehicle settings, display. Click OK for display, and then you can change the units. Just go back. say driver assistance trip computer we'll click on trip computer we'll put it on there so I'll say trip bank trip content click on content and there you can click everything you want trip distance average speed average consumption instantaneous consumption and distance to empty so yeah that that's that's good that's what I want have to put my heater on in a second we're showing three degrees in the outside temperature feels colder to me I'll put the heating on so it's off at the moment so I'll turn the fan on you see there those two set at 23 at the moment and controls there you can have it synced the temperature synced so that you can control the driver and passenger side from the driver's control which it is at the moment you see there it's going up um, automatic there you've got uh, heated front screen heated rear screen that's the passenger heated seat, power folding door mirrors, you hold those two buttons there and uh, they can fold in. It's just a, it's a nice car, I, I think it's probably the best looking of the four wheel drives. Suspension is pretty good. 
as I say, it just feels a little, a little bouncier than the bigger Discovery, but it's bound to be. It's not as heavy, and it's a shorter wheelbase. So uh, even Land Rover, Range Rover can't work miracles. Steering's great. It's gone on about the airbags before in the A bit pillar, the B pillar, the C pillar, the D pillar. There's actually one in the bonnet too, right at the back. Um, I think that's to, uh, well, perhaps to save sheep. <laughs> if you knock any sheep down and it comes up the bonnet, it's got a nice airbag. They always stand in the most stupid places, don't they? Right on the brow of a hill where you can't see anything around a blind bend. Oh, there's a drop there. Don't go there, you silly sheep. I'll go on the wrong side of the road. Hopefully nothing's coming around here. There we go. Let's say... There's a huge drop down that side. It's so nice to drive. Here we go, I'll just do the... Uh... Your descent control there. So green light with the car comes on there and it's showing me. So that's, I'm not touching the brake or the accelerator, we're going down nicely. And I can increase the speed from here. There we go. You see, we're, we're, we're going faster. going to knock it back again. Stop here. There is a warning ice on the road there. Looks like I just managed to finish the outside video in time. It's Although it's supposed to be sunny all day today, it's raining now. Really is a lovely car and, and, and ideal for if you live out in the country. We're uh, we're supposed to be expecting a lot of snow as well. I think it's in the next few days. A lot of salt on the road as well today. A 
why, why, why would you, why would you flipping stand there if you could fly? Right in the corner again. So, uh, going back to where I video, every day I come, every time I come, I'm picking McDonald's wrappers up and bottles, cans. There's a bottle of wine there this morning, an empty bottle of wine. And I, I saw in the on social media yesterday that I think it's 44% of 18 to 24 year olds are ashamed to be British. Well, <laughs> the rest of us are ashamed they are too. Disgraceful. What else has it got? I, re I really can't think of anything else. Um, because you can't have music on YouTube, I, um, I've, I've opened an account on TikTok. And at the moment you can have music on there. So in order to demonstrate the, the radio and the speakers, um, I just do a little test drive on TikTok as well, so uh, I'll try and remember to put the link. Nothing special, it's just me driving the car with music, what I consider to be decent music on. What everybody else considers to be decent music might be a different thing, but anyway. Lovely. So that's it. I'll finish the test drive there. Thanks for watching. I can recommend it. I'll just spin around there. I don't know whether you'll be able to see, but there's a pot of gold, and that looks like where we just came from. So uh, perhaps it's this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.